Hello and welcome back to Ezoic Blogging 101. Today I wanted to share a new topic. This is about using direct ad orders. So first I want to explain what a direct ad order is. And it might be easier to explain what it is not first. Today, most of you are used to using programmatic ads on your site through Ezoic or AdSense or another provider that, that fills all the demand for you. A direct ad is an ad that you go out and secure on your site yourself. A good example of that is if you're a local site, let's say a local news site, and you go to a local business and they decide to pay you $500 per month to display their ad in a position on your site, then that's a direct ad. Um, and that's something that you can manage through Ezoic. I'll share an example on this site over here. Um, this site, the Daily Observer, the Air France ad at the top is actually a direct ad that they secured with that airline. The other ads that fill in on the site are programmatic ads by Ezoic. Um, but they did decide that they were going to accept payment from Air France to serve that ad for a designated time period, which was about two weeks long. Now, there's a few different types of direct ad orders, and I'm going to go through each of them and how you can set them up on your site. Um, if you haven't done this before, this will be great for you. If you have done it before, then and maybe you set up direct ads on your site a different way. Sometimes people hard code these ads onto their site. Other times they use something like Google Ad Manager. Well, with Ezoic, you can do it directly in our interface. Um, and that way everything is in one place for you and it's quite easy. So we'll pop over to an Ezoic dashboard. Um, under the monetization tab, you wanna scroll down past your ad tester settings until you find direct ad orders. If you haven't used it before, simply click to turn it on. Once it's enabled, then you can begin creating your first direct ad order. So we'll go through the settings here. Uh, I'm just gonna name it a test, but you'll wanna put in an order name. And then the next thing you wanna do is choose an order type. There's a few different order types here. The first is sponsorship. And basically what that means is when you choose a sponsorship order, that ad will show all the time, 100% of the time in the position that you target. That's most useful when you sim quite simply want that, that advertiser to show 100% of the time. Um, standard is for an impression-based campaign. Um, so with this, you can enter a CPM and sell the number of impressions um, per by a thousand views or impressions. This also allows you to com your direct ad to compete with programmatic. And when the campaign, the direct campaign is over, programmatic can then fill in that unsold inventory. Um, so standard and price priority are similar in that effect. House is really the lowest ranking line item. You don't need to use it um, unless you're advertising or promoting an internal product of yours, maybe another page on your site, that's what that could be used for. Um, so we're gonna start in this example by using a standard ad um, that's common for most people. So let's say someone approaches you and they're offering you a CPM for a, a fixed number of impressions. It might be a dollar CPM um, for 20,000 impressions. And then it, it's, Typically, these run during a set period of time. So let's say the start date is today, then you would hit start immediately. Or you can hit any start date that it ends up being and then choose your end date. Um, we'll say this one's going to end the end of the month. Deliver impressions. Normally, you just want to do evenly and it, you can also leave the adjust rate percent alone. So just click next step. And then this is where you want to select your inventory sizes. Um, so let's say the, the banner that you get for this advertiser is a 728 by 90, then you only want to target that specific banner size. Display creatives. How many times do you want it to show? Only once, one or more. Per, this is per session for each user. Evenly or optimize. Um, again, 
evenly will rotate creatives evenly. Um, that's pr pretty standard optimized. We'll choose the creative with the highest click through rate. Go ahead and click next step. Um, and then finally, there's some extra targeting you can do. Normally you can leave this be, but if you want to target any specific countries with this ad, you can do that. You can target by device. So you can, if you want to do all devices, desktop, mobile, or tablet only, you have that option. And then add position. Um, so do you want this ad to target all positions on the page or maybe just the top of the page? If that's the case, then you can choose the corresponding needs of a placeholder top of page that you want it to display in. And then you'll always want to hit run of network. Um, once that's all set up, you go ahead and hit submit. And then the final step in adding a direct ad order will be adding your creative. So what is a creative? A creative is basically the, what the ad looks like, the art for the ad that displays on your site. Um, so again, you can name it, choose the creative size. Um, in this case, it's going to match the, the size that you chose in the previous step. And then the ad tag is what the actual, um, is, is how to serve that creative on your site. So there's a couple of examples down here, um, but basically that, that, that ad creative needs to be hosted on a file or server somewhere that, that you can put in this tag. If you have trouble entering the tag, just email your Ezoic support rep. Um, and we can actually upload the image file for you on our end after you've done the previous steps that I've shown you. Um, so really, who is this for? Um, direct ads are for people that, that want to work with ex exclusively or have exclusive deals with other advertisers um, or other, other clients that want to run adver advertising on their site. Um, again, the best example is maybe you're lo you live in a small town and the local business wants to, to run an ad for their shop across your site. They'll pay you a fixed fee or they'll pay you on a CPM basis. And then that ad can display on your site. Um, and that's a great way to, if you get a good deal to make more money alongside your programmatic ads. Hopefully that was useful and, and please leave any questions in the comments below. See you next time.